Here's a quick guide for doing a walk cycle, an on-the-spot walk cycle. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to sort of determine the length of the cycle. Um, I'm starting at frame one, so I need a number that can be halved and quartered. Um, so actually 24 can be, but because I'm starting at frame one, I need that to be 25. So I've got one, then 13 is half, seven is one quarter, and 19 is three quarters. Okay, um, so it just allows me to sort of key things in nice even spaces. I'm going to start making this very kind of symmetrical, but you can always break that up later on. So I'll start with the posing of the body. So I'm just going to bend it down slightly, then I'm going to have the hips swinging forward that way um, for this leg stride. And then I'm going to pose this. I've got a floor plane in there so I can help see um, the floor contact. Uh, so I'm going to stretch that out nicely like so. And I'm then going to do this foot. And this is going to be just the opposite of that one. Use the toe controller there. Very simple rig this, but kind of does everything. I need it to do for now, like that. Twist the chest, the two chest controllers forward a bit. So I'm swinging his upper body opposite to what the um, hips are doing. And then keep his head focused forward. And then the arms are swinging the opposite way to the legs. So let's just check that from every angle. Um, I'm doing this fairly quickly. Um, I'd spend a lot longer on the poses normally. But let's just get this down quickly. Just check the poses all right for most angles. That'll do for now. Pick everything. Key that at frame 1 and at frame 25. Then 13 wants to be the opposite of what we've just done. So let's pick the hips. I can see over here that minus 33 in the Y. So we want positive 33 in the Y, so I'm going to, or near enough, that'll do. And you can see he's really twisted around now because his chest is um, the wrong way. So let's twist his chest back the other way, like this. His head forward again. And we've got to reverse the legs now. You can see they're getting pulled all out of shape at the moment. So we'll pull this one back. Rotate it around. So this is going to be the toe contact now. Bend his toes up. And we want the other foot into its heel contact pose. So drag it forward like that because it's freaking out a bit. Once you get into the pose, it'll be all right. Just straighten his toes up for now. We'll, we'll play about with those a little bit later on. And, and then the arms. Let's do the arms. So this one wants to be coming forward now. Let's get that in a bit. That'll do, and then this one needs to be swinging back more. There's this one. Quick check round. Yep, that'll do for this one. Pick everything, key it here. So we've got this at the moment, okay? Like that, a bit of a slidey kind of foot thing going on there. So we want now the crossover poses. This is the quarter frames. So this is the leg that's made contact. So look, this is coming down and we want to just adjust the contact on this foot to start off with. So let's get this down flat to the floor, flatten the toes. Like so let's get the weight shift now into the body. This is the standing leg, so what I'm lifting up a bit, a little bit of lateral movement there as his weight shifts over that foot. And then we do the crossover pose of this foot. Okay, let's put a little bit of floppiness in the toes. He's got such big feet, they are a bit of a nightmare. You can actually see there that I've got these pole vectors here for the knees and they're not brilliant having them attached to the feet. I sometimes would take them off for these animations, but I'm going to key that one there so his knee doesn't bend in. Um, so yeah, that's okay. Um, actually, we'll adjust the arms in a bit. I'll show you that in a bit. So we'll pick everything, we'll key that at frame seven, and then we need to do the opposite at 19. So this is the foot that wants to be flat to the floor. So let's do 
let's do that. Get that one down. The toe flattened like so. Now the body movement needs to be different this time. This is the standing leg, so we want the body movement more over there and just a slight bit of weight shift there. Just emphasized over the top, but it's good fun. And let's bend those toes backwards as well. Let's just check what that knee's doing. It's not too bad, but there's that knee control. It's gone under the ground. Let's just bend it to there. Pick everything. Key that. Let's have a look at what it's doing now. A little bit better. Okay, we're getting a little bit of floppiness in the feet as the in the crossover pose. And the feet are making better contact with the ground. Okay, so now what we want to do is improve the well let's improve the feet first a little bit we emphasize the foot placement so frame four let's get this foot flat to the floor like that okay then again at 10 let's just flatten it down a bit more so we, we, we're emphasizing that contact with the floor a bit more like that so i'm just keying the foot around and then i want to emphasize this foot roll so as as the heel pivots down, so this foot here as it pivots down, I want this to pivot more. So I'm going to go here, I'm just going to just emphasize this sort of drag back a bit more, like that, okay? And then it's through the air and back to its start pose. And the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to emphasize that wobbly toe weight a bit more. So let that first frame, I'm going to key that down, I'm going to middle drag this to frame 25 so i'm copying that frame there i have to press s to key it again um, but i'm just getting more drag in the toes then i want to do the same with his other foot so frame one that's good then the, emphasize the roll at this frame three frames after that like that crossover pose is good then foot placement here now, i'm not moving it forward or backwards so i'm not adjusting sort of the flow of the movement so he's keeping it fairly regular kind of cycle movement like that so let's have a look now what have we got so we've got that nice sort of floppy kind of foot movement and the feet are looking a lot more sort of placed on the ground now now the arms need more swing to them okay so that's the last thing we're going to do we're not going to spend too much longer on this um, but you can see they're bending into position that's the problem with IK so let's drag that down so it's got more of an arc to it. Okay, and I'm just gonna emphasize the drag in the hands a little bit. Okay, so we get that little drag as the hands go forward. And again, let's at this other, at the three quarter frame mark, let's emphasize that movement. So we get a little bit more swing to that hand. And we do the same again with this one. At the three quarter frame, this is coming backwards drag it forward a little bit and then we do the same at 19 drag it down and have it coming that way a bit more so there's the basics of our walk cycle very basic very quick um, so we could spend a bit longer obviously secondary animation things like the tail I want to get jaw wobble maybe a bit of head wobble in there and so on now what you'll find when you're cycling an animation like this the first and the last frame are repeated Okay, so look, frame one, and if I go right to the end, frame 25 are identical. So if you want to just play it back like this, lose the last frame. And you'll get less of a pause in the animation playback. Okay, so you just lose the last frame. Okay, and that's just a very quick way of doing a walk cycle.